Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to solve this integral x cubed over x plus 1 squared dx. Right off the bat, I see that the denominator has a square, the numerator has a cubed, so I'm going to try long division. So in that case, I'm going to do x cubed and then x squared plus 2x plus 1. I just simplified that. And now I will add plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 0 just to make the long division a bit easier. Next we have x, which is x cubed plus 2x squared plus x over minus 2x plus 2. Rewriting the integral, we get integration of x minus 2 plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 squared. So I just condense this part into x plus 1 squared once again dx. In order to simplify this, I'm going to keep this part the same, and I'm going to do something with this part, and you'll see here in just a moment. We're going to do plus. I want to make the top somewhat in the form of the bottom. I see that the bottom has something to do with x plus 1, right? I want to get that x plus 1 to the top. So in other words, I want to convert this in terms of something x plus 1. So like maybe something will cancel from the top and bottom. That's what I'm hoping. So in that case, we can actually do, whoops, we can do x plus 1. Let's start up from there. If we have x plus 1, I'm thinking of multiplying it by 3 because I know we have that 3x. We multiply this by 3. We automatically get 3x. But then we get a plus 3. And up here is a plus 2. That can easily be fixed. We can subtract 1 from here. If you expand this, you're going to get exactly that numerator. The denominator, let's just keep that the same, x plus 1 squared dx. This and this, they're exactly the same. I just rewrote it in a different way. And this integral, I'm going to, I'm going to actually start to distribute. So integral of x minus 2 dx plus integral of 3x plus 1 minus 1 x plus 1 squared dx. I'm going to integrate this. This is just going to be 1 half x squared minus 2x plus, now I'm going to expand that integral again. We're going to have 3 over x plus 1 dx minus integral of 1 over x plus 1 squared dx. And how I did that, I just took this to one side and this as one integral. Okay, and then I found that that x plus 1 at the top and the x plus 1 at the bottom, one of them gets canceled out, so we're left with 1 at the bottom. So that's what I was actually hoping to do one over here. Make the numerator in terms of something like the denominator, and hopefully they will cancel out. Now, this is a pretty simple integral to solve, so let's solve it. And that is our answer.